Hello, so welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss how to encode the data if the data are from the following questionnaire. So the first one, Likert scale questionnaire, multiple response questionnaire, true or false questionnaire, and multiple response type or rather multiple choice type questionnaire. So I have here with me examples. So for letter A, Likert scale questionnaire, given the items, items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the scales so 1, 2, 3, 4, assuming that these are the responses of question, uh, respondent number 1. So for item 1, the response is 1, item 2, it's 2, item 3, it's 2, item 4, it's 3, and item 5 is 5. So how will we encode this in our Microsoft Excel data set? So I have here the template that will show you now that our column corresponds to, so this is the column, column corresponds to the respondent and the row, the first row will be the variable. So the variables here or are the items. So we have item one, item two, item three, item four, and item five. So to encode this, so we will just simply assign number to our respondent that is one and then uh, encode the response for item one it is also one for item two it's two item three it's two item three it's uh sorry item four it's three and item five is four so these are the responses of respondent number one so if you will continue with two three four five so of course you're going to do the same procedure now how will we encode multiple response questionnaire so this is an example so the question is which of the following is or are true to you so check all that apply so these are again the responses of respondent number one so the respondent number one check number option one option three and uh, option five so to encode that So we are going to encode or assign number again to our respondent, respondent 1. Option 1, it is unchecked. So we will set a code that we will encode 0 if there is no check and encode 1 if there is a check. So for option 1, it's encode 1, option 2, it's 0, option 3, it's 1, option 4, it's 0, option 5 is 1. So this is an example on how to encode responses from multiple response type questionnaire. While if you're going to use true or false questionnaire, so this is again an example of response coming from our respondent number one so statement one is true the statement two is false three is false four is false five is false so what we need to do here is again to set a codes like for instance if uh, we set t to one and f to zero so to encode this so we will just simply write again the assigned number to our respondent that is one the statement number one is true so let's encode one statement number two is false let's encode zero three is also zero statement number four is true so let's encode one and four five it is again zero while for our last type of questionnaire, the multiple choice type. So if you're going to give a questionnaire and you need to encode all the responses in each of the item, so you have to consider setting again code. So let's say that we're going to use one for letter A, two for letter B, three for letter C, and four for letter D. 
So let us encode the responses of respondent number one. So for respondent number one, option B is the answer for question one. So let's encode two. For question two, it's letter C. Let's encode three. For three, it's A. So one. For four, it's again A. So it, let's encode one. And for five, it's letter D. So let's encode four. But if your concern is just to encode the score, then you can just simply write the score of the student. So, for example, for respondent 1, the score of respondent 1 in the given quiz or in the given assessment or pretest, out of 25 points, the score is 20. Then you can just encode the score so uh, respondent number two got 25 for example respondent three got 18 and so on 